It's Madden NFL 24, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens coming up next. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we've got a good one on tap in the AFC North as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember, for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We Two hard-hitting blue-collar franchises. One of the better rivalries going. The Ravens and Steelers are underway. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. Bringing them out is the 12th-year pro seeking a return to Pro Bowl form, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw completes a flyer move. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards that time for number 14. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. On first down, Wilson. He's got this to Pickens. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Wilson's throw pulled in by Robinson here. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well-drilled, well-prepared, and excited to start this game. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Wilson will throw again. And that ball is caught by Washington. Touchdown, Steelers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Steelers are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Just how they wanted to start this one in the end zone on their first possession. And that just happened. How about that play right there? 
as you said, opening possession, setting the tone for everything. And I'm going to look forward a little bit now because everyone should be celebrating his catch in the end zone. The tight end gets a little bit of love. But if you're a receiver on the team, you should be thinking to yourself, boy, oh boy, things are going to open up the rest of the game if they have to focus on him as well. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. well now to kick it away after the touchdown no return here for Clay Brooks and it'll come out to the 25 yard line the Ravens offense going to work and as usual it's Lamar Jackson the former MVP of the league at the helm and he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks his goal each and every season continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded all those highlight reel plays you see they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. An effective seven-yard third down conversion plenty of things to talk about here partner but to me their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive how about how they're responding coming back that's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive a first down carry for Henry trying to keep those big legs churning but he's going to go down in the backfield Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop I think Cameron Hayward's ability to take on blocks hold the point of attack and get upfield serves him very very well what a nice play there yeah he can take on blocks because he's built like a block jackson a short throw caught by andrews so the completion good for just three and that's going to set up a tough third and nine they gave up the completion there but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch if they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Here's Jackson to throw. That is caught. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 13-yard line. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw... Maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now it's Jackson. This is caught. And the Ravens are going to be set up for the first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Half 
after one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Henry will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. 6-6, six six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw 7-on-7, seven seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. Play action, it's Wilson. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. The sack there by Roquan Smith. Chalked that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. A handoff for Warren, and he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this one is incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known the points won't come so easy again. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Give them a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now Jackson on second down. That's complete to the fullback, Ricard. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And third and eight now. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. On third down, Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refused to go down. If you're a defender and you'll get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Off the option, here's Henry. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Just need a yard here, second and one. Jackson now. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Flowers. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Throwing is Jackson. Complete to Likely. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. From the gun, it's Jackson. Well, that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Tucker's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues.
They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Wilson. Got his man, it's one. Now the Ravens gonna use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Third and eight. Throwing is Wilson. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. It's Presley Harbin now as he'll send this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and ten. From the gun, Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Jackson on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. After the interception, here's Wilson. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A gain of 32 that time. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. 
but even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Finding Pickens for another catch. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now it's Wilson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. From the two now, second and goal. Harris is into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Boswell for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive, four plays. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Taken at the goal line. And fighting down inside the 25. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. 
the Raven offense set to start this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. On first and ten, it's Jackson. And now look at this, big game by the but it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And they came out of the locker trailing. Not a good way to start this second half with their first drive. Can't imagine that the discussion at halftime encompassed this at all. In fact, I'm sure they talked about, okay, kind of wipe the slate clean, start the second half, and let's go out and play the way we know that we can. That's not a great example of it. They didn't envision that. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, so that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They go play action now. Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Second and ten. Jackson options out left, and he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it, and while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. On third down, here's Mitchell. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Inside handoff, Henry. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards there, just like last play. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. A shotgun handoff to Mitchell. That he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and ten. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it, and the running game is starting to pay off. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. 
Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson looking to throw on third to the goal line, but it's incomplete. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. A third quarter now at a one-point game as they line up second and ten. On the give, it's Warren, and he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Wilson. is going to be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. A punt of 46, a return of five. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The drive will start with an option going left. And some nifty running here as they take this across midfield and down to the 47. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because, remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion, and sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. you got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Right, 
from the gun to give to Mitchell. Across the 30 to the 31 yard line. Two yards on the pickup, it'll be second down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Holding offense. That's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler. First round pick back in 2012. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Running left, it's Henry. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And Pittsburgh with six defensive backs in the game here on third down. Here's Jackson to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Now Jackson on first down. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. The Ravens on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and ten. Now Jackson. That is caught. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 29-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Jackson will throw again. He's got his man. It's Andrews. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. A handoff, running left, Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Alex Highsmith simply would not be stopped on that play. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Now Jackson on second down. This for Beckham, and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Ravens have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. 
They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass, so you spread people out, decide to run the football. You often find good running lanes. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. And now out come the Steelers. Well, the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. I like his awareness in the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football. So instead of forcing it to the sideline, he should just put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. From the shotgun, Wilson. They'll get this complete to Calvin Austin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First target, first catch, and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Dancing to his left. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. From the 46, here's second and two. Now it's Wilson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Keeps himself upright. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Here's second and a yard. Now Wilson. Man open is Robinson. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. Allen Robinson, 29 yards. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. 
Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Important extra point up and through, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. But the offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Fights him off. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, and then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Jackson to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Jackson. That is caught. Bateman. And he will have a Ravens first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Jackson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Trying to squeeze it in there at this stage of the game. You got to take some chances. Nice job to knock it away, though. You're so right. Understanding where they are in the game, you got to take that opportunity and maybe thread the needle. Unable to get it done there. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Well, that sets up a big third down. Now the decision has to be, do you run it here and play for OT, or do you go ahead and press it downfield? A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Jackson, option right. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Ravens send their punter out now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. 
They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Second and six coming up. Here's Wilson. He's got Pickens complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Now Wilson. He finds Pickens over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Here's first down. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This a long one from 54. And that is no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Boy, that's a big-time letdown there. You work yourself in position to win the game. But the kick winds up no good. And now you've got to regroup as a team, get the energy back up, and get ready for overtime. And make sure you pump him up, too. He may be needed to try and win it again later. Here's Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And he's got it inside the 10. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can throw the ball without creating extra contact. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.